What's going on everyone? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. See what happens when you don't give me enough thumbs up? Samir doesn't want to come back. Just kidding, he's at work today. So I'm smoking some of the tobacco that he left over, the new Lavu Dark Leaf Tobacco. And this flavor is the Viceroy Chai. And Viceroy means ruler. So I don't know if this is a chai worthy of a ruler, or this is the ruler over all the chai flavors. But I'm testing this flavor out, and I'm getting some really interesting results. So the new Dark Leaf Lavu Tobacco comes in this really nice plastic container. It even has a secondary plastic lid to ensure that it's fresh. And when you lift this lid up, the cut on this, as I mentioned in the last video with Samir, it is super finely chopped. Coffee ground fine. I mean, this stuff is the finest stuff I've seen in a long time. I love the cut on this, but it is very, very dry. I think that's attributing to some of its heat issues. But the cut on this, very, very dark in color. It is a dark molasses-based tobacco, so you get that dark, nice pigment in here. I have this pack today in the Mason Bowl. Nine grams of tobacco in this. There's very little tobacco in this bowl, and I'm using my Cloud Lotus. You guys probably forgot I had a Cloud Lotus. I'm always using my Ignis, but today I went back to my Cloud Lotus because my lid is still missing. Using the new Dashini Glass Hookah that I've been testing out. I've had this hookah for a while now. You guys have seen it, but I haven't done a review yet. I know I'm getting reviews done, but this is taking me a little bit longer. And y'all's favorite hose, the Twizzler hose with the Dashini tip. Let me take a few more hits. I really like the flavor on this. Let's see how it smells. So the smell on this, when you take off that secondary lid. The perfect fall smell. When you guys are ready to hang up the tank tops, bring out the scarves and the long sleeve shirts, maybe even Ugg boots, if you guys are into that, I don't know. But this smell is perfect for what I think of when I think of fall. You get a nice balance of spice in here, sweetness, cream, I smell some cardamom. This is exactly what a fresh, natural chai smells like. You know when you smoke Fumari Spice Chai and it's very, very sweet? It reminds me of something you get from Starbucks, but this is more of a natural, like, fresh chai that you guys would make at home. Definitely a good balance of spices in this. Wow, I love this smell. This is candle-worthy. This is a great smell. And let's see how it translates to the smoke. It is a perfect translation to the smoke. It's sweet, but it has that balance of spice in there. The cardamom is one of the prevalent tastes I can get out of this. It's got a nice balance of cream in here. This is like what my grandma, when she makes tea at home and she makes chai, this is what it reminds me of. When she roasts the fresh spices before she puts them into the tea to steep, before she adds the milk, this is what that reminds me of. This is so good. My problem with this flavor though, it's a little heat temperamental. And I spoke to other people who've tried this flavor out, like Susie Food Drunk. Shout out to you, always give me good feedback and help me figure out these flavors. She also agreed that this flavor was also a little heat temperamental. I even think Christian Hookah Chef said it was a little heat temperamental. But we all agree that the flavor profile of this flavor is fantastic. If it just wouldn't smoke so warm and you had to baby it the whole way through, this would be a perfect flavor. It has the contrast to the Fumari Spice Chai where it's not overly sweet. This has that very, very good balance. So for me, when I pack this to make it a little more palatable, a little more smokable, I packed it very, very low, much lower than I usually pack. Usually when I pack Lavu tobacco, I put about 14 grams in here. One about nine grams, that's definitely under the rim if you guys are packing at home. And I'm using two coals at the beginning. I smoked for about 30 minutes, let it fully heat up, took its time, and then I added the third coal. And it's been a lot easier to smoke now. I wish it wasn't that way. I wish I could just load on the heat and rip huge clouds the whole time, but I have to baby this to really get the flavor to be perfect. So that's my only concern with this flavor. Overall though, the flavor is great. Lavu Tobacco, you're doing a great job. I just think if you added a little more of the molasses in there, maybe a little more glycerin, it would combat that heat temperament. But I'm still really enjoying this. This is something that's been a great mixer for me. I'm gonna mix this with some trifecta vanilla, maybe in a little watermelon. Add a little cooling to this so it doesn't smoke as warm. But overall though, if you guys are looking for a new flavor to welcome in fall, definitely check out this flavor from 5starhookah.com. They're the only people I know who carry it right now. I'm about to pick up some more from them, I think. Maybe some more reviews for you guys. And let you guys know about this Lavu tobacco. Like I said in the last video, it escaped me. I didn't even know it came out. But I'm really glad I got to try it out. I'm really glad you guys recommended it to me. And I'm gonna do some more reviews of this. So if you guys like um, Hayes Chitastic, I just thought of this. This reminds me more of Hayes Chitastic than the Fumari Spice Chai. Both of those flavors I absolutely love. 
this leans more towards the haze chai tasks of it. But thank you guys always for watching. I'll see you guys on the next review. And I might be sitting outside more often. I got some new furniture out here. And I'm really in the mood to do reviews these days. Thanks, guys. Bye.